Welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm at Benton Cliffs which is in North Yorkshire on the North Sea coast and I'm hoping that I can get some good bird photography today, uh, specifically looking for puffins and gannets. So I've just actually come into the, the nature reserve and I'm going to now do the cliff top walk and um, I'll take you guys along for the, the walk today and uh, see what uh, photography we can get. So I'm at the cliff's edge and uh, already I've got uh, a couple of nice shots of the castor which is just behind me here. It's hunting on the cliff edge. And I'm getting eaten alive by little bugs which is kind of interesting. And now I'm just trying to get some shots down here on the cliff. Can't quite ID the birds but I'll take a look. So there's definitely a lot of gannets in flight. I haven't yet seen any puffins. Um, but it's going to be a bit of a challenge just getting uh, an overlook onto these cliff edges to actually get some shots. It's actually a very bright sunny day, um, it's very warm, but I put my fleece on rather than my t-shirt. I'm glad I did because there's a very cool sea breeze. And the other thing is there's a ton of flies and midges all around. I've got them all over me. Very distracting when you're trying to take photos, but I'm glad I got my fleece on. And of course, once you get next to the coast with a bit of wind, those bugs go, so it's less of a problem. So I'm just still heading south on the coastal path and um, there's a lot of activity here at Gannett so yeah, excuse the flies, um, they're actually just circling around and then perching on the, the uh, crevice face, the rock face there. So I'm actually able to just predict their flight paths, pick my shots, I can get some birds that are in flight, I can actually get some birds landing um, and yeah, some of them there on the, uh, on the cliff face and some of their behaviour. So, well, you probably can't see the shot there, but they often hover before they land and they sort of wobble their wings, so it's quite interesting. Um, and I'm using quite a lightweight setup today, so I've got my GX8 100-400mm lens, so it's a micro four thirds camera so you just basically double the focal length. I've got 200 to 800 equivalent there. Um, and yeah, so I'm using aperture priority mode, which is my default mode for wildlife photography. Basically pump the ISO up to make sure that my uh, shutter speed is at least, excuse me, I've got bugs all over me, at least 2x the, um, the focal length. So I'm around about 1600 to 2000 shutter speed. And that allows me to basically shoot handheld and uh, get my, my shots in, in focus and nice and sharp. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a beautiful day for it, it really is. And some stunning birds really are.
so I've just actually carried on south on the coastal walk and now I'm in uh, part of the reserve which is a lot more remote there are less people there's a lot more tall grass wildflowers and I'm just actually scouting out if there are any parts of the fence line where I can get access to some of the um, some of the cliff tops that where I might actually find some some puffins I've actually got one puffin shot so far and I was so busy photographing it I had absolutely no chance to get it on video it was uh, a real challenge because actually just behind me here this is where the gannets uh, razor bills and puffins are and they're about two meters below the cliff so they were drifting and gliding down and every now and again one would pop up but you literally had seconds to get a shot so I think I got one maybe two puffin shots but I'm happy with that and now I'm just going to try and check these little coastal inlets here and see if there's any nesting birds or any puffins that might be hiding and uh, I'll turn around and head back to the uh, to the main entrance. So I'm now at part of the reserve where there's no fence next to cliff top. So to be super careful because with the long grasses you can't really see where the cliff ends and there's a risk of falling over. Anyway, I've just spotted a puffin. Um, and that's one of the advantages of actually, that's why I'm on my knees actually, is coming closer, um, is you can actually look a little bit further down. Most of the puffins are probably about two meters from the top of the cliff. And that was the issue that I had at the, the lookout earlier on, is we could see them gliding off, but we couldn't actually visually see them to take photos. Um, I just videoed him quickly before doing this piece of the camera. He's now just flown off. Um, but at least I know where his, his, well, I'd like to call it a nest, it's not really a nest, but his crevice is. I'll wait a little bit and see if I can get a few more images, but I'm pleased that at least I captured one, uh, oh, he's come back, I've captured one on uh, video for you. So I'm gonna get a few more shots whilst I can. So I've just had some nice puffing accounts back there, so I'm able to get very close to the cliff edge and by lying down on my stomach getting uh, close to the ground with my lens I was able to get some nice shots a couple of razor bills behind as well which uh, well, brought some context so I really wanted some subject separation between the puffins and the razor bills but uh, this type of photography you have to take what you're given you can't always control the subjects and the environment as we were on the cliff top, it's very, very difficult to control the subjects and the environment. Anyway, it's uh, about a kilometers walk back to the car park. I've only managed to do the south cliff path, and uh, I'm not going to be able to do the north cliff path because I've now got a boat trip scheduled at 4.30. It's just gone 20 past three, and as we're in high season summer, I need to get down to Bridlington and park the car and I'll probably have about 30 minutes rest before getting on the boat and hopefully getting some uh, sea level images as well. So I'm excited about that because it gives you the best of both worlds. You've got the cliff top images and then you actually get to see the cliffs from the sea. So it'll bring a completely different context and environment. So yeah, part two of the video coming up.
Right, so um, I'm off the boat and uh, had a great tour. It was quite an adventure. Uh, it was great actually to get underneath the cliffs. Um, the proximity to the birds and the environment was amazing. Obviously with a lot of passengers there, I couldn't really do any filming or pieces to camera. So um, hopefully you'll just get a, a flavour for what the photographic opportunities were like. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, yeah, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe to the channel and check back for more wildlife and landscape uh, videos in the future. Cheers!